The council and the, the mayor actually set the policy mm -hmm. in the city. Uh, our role is to set policy. The city manager's role is to run the day-to-day -day operations of the city. Uh, the city council, mayor and city council hired the city clerk, the city attorney, and the city manager. And all of the other employees are hired through the city manager and, and uh, the personnel department. Were you involved in hiring the present city manager? I, I was not. I was not on the council uh, at that time. He became city manager about a year before I was elected to the council. But I've been in uh, since 1995. You know, we have yearly evaluations of the city manager, and I've sat in all but one of those uh, for Mike Van Milligan, who's our city manager today. And uh, you know, he has really grown in that position. He's one of the top city managers in the country, as uh, recognized by his peers and the city manager organization. He's one of the top city managers in the world, uh, by their, according to their global organization. So uh, we're very fortunate to have a city manager who knows the job and goes to continuing education courses to always be updated on uh, the latest. Uh, the process, uh, you know, is, is not unlike the hiring of a CEO in a, a company. Uh, you know, you have uh, uh, requests for uh, resumes. Uh, there's a job description uh, that is sent out, and then you, you get resumes. And uh, there was a, a core group of people that uh, winnowed those down to, I don't remember what the number was, but there was usually a top five or six. and. Uh, then you take those folks, you bring them in for interviews uh, with you know the strategic players in the community, your finance departments, uh, uh, HR, uh, you name it, all the areas that they would cover, and uh, and you narrow it down uh, even further. I I'm not sure if the city council at the time or the mayor was a part of that process, but uh, certainly that would uh, you know, be one way of, of doing it because the, the mayor and council actually do hire. The city manager, so I would think they would be a part of that, uh, the final process, uh, you know, making that selection. And, and in fact, they do make the final selection, but uh, after a lot of input and a very extensive process, uh, they arrive at, uh, you know, they actually vote on, on who they would like as their city manager. And with the city council and mayor making that selection, did they earlier bring in other people from their city to be part of that selection committee? Um, that, uh, that is not uncommon. Uh, I really don't recall whether that happened at that time. I know if it happened today <clears throat> with the way that we operate today and the, the tremendous partnerships that we have in this community, that there would be players, uh, you know, from our Greater Dubuque Development Corporation, our economic uh, development nonprofit, uh, possibly the chamber. Uh, mm -hmm. We would certainly open it up to a lot of eyes, uh, you know, so we could get that input. Mm -hmm. That's really how you make your best decision. The more people you can have mm -hmm. looking at those resumes and those candidates, uh, you know, the, the better process it is. And as you said, you did have a uh, a, uh, a requirement, a, a list of goals and uh, requirements for the city manager? Well, there are certain jobs, you know, the city manager is responsible for. Uh, you know, he's got to be, uh, he's got to know finance, uh, you know, personnel issues. Uh, our city manager uh, gets involved in everything. I mean, he, he makes sure that he's up to date on all the engineering that's going on, the long range planning, so that he has an overall picture of how the city operates and he actually manages those departments so he's got to be responsible and and uh, you know what goes on within those departments and uh, we're very fortunate that our city manager does a, an excellent job at that. So that would include economic development perhaps and labor negotiations? Economic development, labor negotiations, you know one thing one thing that I learned early on uh, you know and, and it was in discussion with the city manager is he manages the everyday workings of the city. The city council and mayor set the policy. We set the, the priorities every year that he bases his budget on for the next 18 months. So uh, you know, I learned very, very early on that 
You know, I don't go to managers within the city and ask them uh, questions uh, of a nature that would undermine the management of the city manager. That's his job. If I have questions of those managers, I'll go through the city manager. He'll find out the information. I can certainly talk to them about, uh, you know, how things operate or, or things like that. But uh, usually it's through the city manager, and he oversees everyone that uh, operates those services for the city. You mentioned that um, five or six years ago, the, the voters made a big decision. Well, I, I think they did. Uh, you mentioned there that. were there were two council members, uh, myself and another, who were were running for city council, and uh, you know we we were kind of at different ends of the spectrum. Uh, you know, I was looking at uh, sustainability and, and a long range vision for the city, uh, an inclusive city, a friendly, a welcoming city, and you know I think there were some other. Uh, avenues that possibly could have been pursued, uh, you know, had, had my opponent won. But uh, I also, when I was elected, uh, there were three other council seats that were open, and all three of those uh, new folks uh, that were running were elected. And they all, I think, shared the vision that I had. So really, I think it was uh, the community decided, uh, you know, that we wanted to go forward down a new path uh, of inclusiveness and a progressive community and look to the future, uh, you know, what kind of community we were going to be leaving for our children and our grandchildren. And uh, really that has been a driving force, you know, over the last five years uh, why Dubuque has, has gained national notoriety for our sustainability efforts and, and our job creation efforts. Uh, the businesses that we've attracted to this community I think are all based on visioning uh, and that progressive visioning in our sustainable community. So I assume then that the aldermen have bought into the uh, experience uh, so far and also the, the uh, uh, voters? We have had uh, tremendous feedback from citizens, uh, you know, on, on the direction that the city has been uh, taking uh, the vision that we have. Our sustainability program is recognized nationally and internationally. Uh, we were selected by IBM to be the, the first smarter sustainable city in the country under 200,000. They are actually working with us on a smarter city initiative with uh, water and gas and, and uh, oil and um, vehicle miles traveled and they're going to get into health care. So we're going to have a community that really is going to be set apart from the rest of the country initially. And all of that has been driven by our sustainability initiative and our very strong public-private partnerships. We realize nothing happens in this city of a positive nature and of any scale without many people at the table. Partnership is what it's all about and that's really been the secret that uh, you know, we've tried to share with other communities when they ask us, you know, how are you getting so much done? It's because everyone comes to the table and works together for common goals. You mentioned that many cities have come to you for to look over what you're doing and figure out. Mm -hmm. how. They have. Uh, St. Cloud, uh, Minnesota was just here with 40-some uh, people, uh, spent a day and a half, and uh, went through every aspect of our community from economic development to tourism, uh, you know, our health programs, uh, our housing, everything. And uh, just to find out how we brought all these working pieces together to create this community that really is, is recognized around the country as one of the progressive hubs, you know, in the country. And uh, we try to share with them, you know, everything that, that we've done. Uh, and again, you know, it, it goes back to people working together with a common vision and common goals. And uh, you know when when we won the All-America City Award in 2007, uh, one of the participants, Rusty Knight, who's uh, uh, the, the uh, president of uh, Mercy Health Center, said uh, you know the secret to this community is it's not who has the good idea or the great idea, it's that nobody takes credit for it. Everybody works together to make that idea a reality and nobody takes credit. 
you know, the Eagles are checked at the door and, uh, you know, everything is about the future vision of the community and how are we going to get there together to make this a better community for our children and grandchildren.